Hello, my YouTube friends. Welcome to another exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I'll teach you on how you can place the 3D reinforcement on a stair, as you can see from here. Now, from here, you can see that this is our staircase, and we are going to place the 3D rubber on this stair, just as you can see from here. You see that we have the reinforcement both at the top and also at the bottom as you can see and i'll show you step by step on how you can place you know such kind of reinforcement on this stair so we'll be working on this one now make sure that you don't just watch my videos if you like what i'm doing on this channel please subscribe to this channel share with your friends and also turn on the bell notification so that when i upload a new video can be notified that i've uploaded some you know new video so let me not waste time let's get started in this lesson now before i proceed i just want to ask anyone who is interested in joining me in a course that is revit architecture revit structure robot structure analysis professional and some other beam software please make sure that you check the links in the description and in this lesson, I'll just work on this one. And the model is already here. But if there's anyone who doesn't know how to create a stair like this one, please check one of the videos on my channel. Should be able to follow along and create this stair. Then come to this one. And now we are going to do the reinforcement together on this stair. All right. So this is the reinforcement which we have, as I've mentioned. I'm just going to close this one so that because this is a different model without reinforcement. So I'll click on that one and simply close it so that I just remain with this one. So to get started, I'll first of all hide some of the elements, maybe like this column HH on your keyboard to hide it temporarily. This one HH on your keyboard so that I can now work properly on the stair. So what I'll do is to first of all select on the stair. Let me just check the structural depth for this stair. I'll click on edit there and select on the stair once again and click on edit type. And I just want to change the structural depth to 200. Click on apply. Okay, that is my structural depth. Then once again, I'll select on it and click on edit. And I don't want to have the slants here. Just want to have a straight, you know, riser there. I'll remove the slanted. Click on apply from here. You can see and click on okay and then finish from there. So now we'll proceed with, we'll start with the placement, uh, the placement of the, you know, transversal reinforcement. So what I'm going to do is to select on the stair. Once you do that, click on the river, then you are going to pick on aligned. You can see from here, it's asking you to select the whole surface. Okay, so make sure that you pick the bottom part a bit like that, and then pick the other part on top. So that surface is selected. Then you need to click on path from here, click on path and make sure that you pick the path. I'll just start my path from the bottom here. I'll select that line. You can see that it turns blue and you have to make sure that you select the path all the way up to the end. So I'll pick that one and I'll continue. You can see that that is a blue line until I finish up to the top of the slab. So as you can see, we are almost at the end. I'll click that one and you can see that I have reached the end. That is the path for my reinforcement. Now, before I click on the check mark here on the finish button, I'll make sure that I check maximum spacing and ensure that 150 is selected. All right, then from here, I'll make sure that I pick the bar that I want. I'll use H12 and now I can proceed by clicking on the finish button from there. I'll just give it a bit of time. It does to calculate and load all the rebar that I have that I've created. Okay. Now you can see that quickly the rebar is there, it's loaded, and you can see that we have the rebar. Now the next thing for me is to now just ensure that I had the I add the hooks here. And to add the hooks, just select on the rebar set there. And I'll simply go down here and just click on override hook lengths from there. 
you can see it's right there now even before i go down here okay make sure that you add the hooks here you can see that we have hook at start click there put 90 degrees there then hook at the end i'll just click there put 90 degrees there then you see that if i go down here i now have the option to change maybe i, I once this is too much for me i can still click there and change this one to whatever i want right so i'll just use 100 to move inside you can see that everything will adjust like that as you can see from here we have our you know our ribber right there now i'll need to cut the section so that i can also place some ribber on top because this is at the bottom of the stair i also want the ribber to be at the top so what i want to do is to just go to maybe to the top there and let me just you know cut a section by going to view and i'll go to section and i'll use a detail and i'll just cut the section from that point i'll make sure that it's parallel to those lines and just cut another section up to somewhere there then i can double click the head and make sure that you counter check the the river which is right there maybe i just need to go above oh actually i was down here so the river is already there let me just do that just do that and i want to make sure that i'm able to see the you know the stair okay from here so let me just counter check from here okay. i just want to see how i've placed my bar now you not see it you know you know the way it's supposed to be seen like on a beam because it's at a certain angle but i want what i want to do now is to select on that i just want to mirror this one and what i want to do is to select on this then i'll go to i'll not just mirror the way we mirror but i want to copy this one then move it there and then just change the you know the hook so i'll click on that two code the copy to clipboard then click on paste and i'll click on align to same place i'll cancel from there then i'll pick one of the bars okay like that and i'll just use the arrow on my keyboard just like that as you can see then I'll simply reach almost at the end there. Then it's going to tell me if I've gone above too much. Okay, maybe somewhere there. Then what I want to do is to simply change the hooks, the direction for my hooks. So what I want to do, I'll go there and change the hook rotation to 180 from there. Then go to the hook rotation on the other side, change it to 180. Then move inside. You can see that I have changed the hooks now don't worry the way it's looking because of where we are cutting and you can see this is a spiral stair i just need to go to my 3d view and let me see what i have as you can see we have the ribber at the top and also at the bottom now if i want to make sure that you know some of the bars maybe are not outside my element here i can select everything let me just try to change to course level of detail okay it's not changing so i can just select everything here and change the bars by going to filter check none structure ribber apply okay i'll make sure that i go under the view visibility states and and check obscure there so you can you need to counter check here it means that i have to move this one on top down a bit that's the reason why i was doing this so i'll select on that and i can just use the arrow on my keyboard to move it down there let me counter check it okay so again you can see that this is perfect all right everything looks okay we just have this one here but you don't have to worry about this one because this one will join on the slab there and you can go ahead and manipulate it a bit but i think for now i'll leave it the way it is i can even use the arrow on the other side like that sideways or you know left and right you can do that and you can see that oh i've made a mistake because now i can see so you can just play with this until you you know you stop seeing that and i'll go down once again and just click on 3d view so this is okay this is how i want my you know my 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 ribbon to be and i'll now review all the ribber from here so that you see what we are trying to do maybe let me just create a different view we have this one right click and i'll duplicate duplicate with detailing so we have two views so that i can now start working on this one so one of the views here i want to review my ribber 
I'll just click on filter, check none, structure river, apply OK, so that I'm able to see my river within there as I keep on, you know, ap applying some or uh, adding some more bars. I'll click there and change this one to fine level of detail from here. And we have the bars there. So I'll leave this view and go to the other one so that I add, you know, bars now, longitudinal bars from here. So for the longitudinal bars, I'll just do it like that. Leave it somewhere there. I'll select on the stair there. Then click on ribbon. Then this time I'll use, you know, we, we, we use a, a surface as, a, as the option. Click on the surface. Then we are supposed to pick on select whole surface. We'll pick the bottom like that. Then you also need to pick the top part like that so that the entire surface is selected. Now, what you need to do is to now click on the start surface from here. I'll just pick on, you know, start surface just like that. And now you can start picking, you know, the, the surface from here. I'll just pick that surface. And again, I have to go all the way up to the top. So I'll pick that one and I'll continue until I finish up to the top. So from here, you can see this is the last one and I'll just click on it. So the first surface is done. Now you just have to click again here so that you, 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 you place now the end surface. You click the end surface. I'll click there. You can see that it's selected. Then I'll rotate like that and now start it from here so that the entire surface is selected. So I'm going to start it from here, right? And I'll click that surface. And again, I have to continue this until the last surface on top, as you are going to see. So as you can see, I've selected the other end and the surface is selected from the bottom up to the top. Now, again, make sure that you go to maximum spacing there. And I just want to use 150. You can select this is I want to use H12. And once you do that, you just need to click on the green check mark. So as you can see, the ribbon is right there. All right. As you can see, we have the ribbon there. And what I'm going to do again, let me just right click cancel. We have the river there, which is based at 150 millimeters, as you can see from here. And this is what we want. Now, what I want to do again is to go down there to go within the section. And I want to make sure that where is the river? Let me go to my 3D view, select on it. I want to select on it and simply copy it at the top there. Let me go to the detail there, where is the ribbon? As you can see, that is the ribbon. So again, I'll go to, you know, copy to clipboard, uh, select on that one there and align to same place. We have the bars in the same place, but what, what I want to do again is to pick on that bar and I'll simply move it up by using the arrow on my keyboard, as you can see, until it reaches somewhere here. So I'll leave it here for now. As you can see now, depending on the section where you are cutting, it may look better than where I cut my section. So I'll go to my 3D view here and you can see that we have the bars at the top and at the bottom. So let me just review all the bars here so that you can see what we have from here. Actually, we already have this view, but still I have to, you know, make sure that all the bars are visible by going to filter, check none. Structural ribbon apply OK. And I'll go to, you know, visibility states and make sure that I activate from there. OK, under 3D. I think let me also activate all these. Click on apply. Right, did I miss? OK, so you can see that the bars are right here and we have the bars at the top and at the bottom. Then I can go ahead and counter check if I want the other one to be at the top, for example. This bar, there's a collision there with this bar. I can select on it. 
just counter check it within my detail here and make sure that I move it up. I can do that by just using the arrow on my keyboard, just like that. And I should be fine if I go to my 3D view. You see that everything is okay. And I can go ahead and move the bars as I wish. As you can see, we have the 3D rebar on the this spiral staircase. And you can go ahead and detail the bars. And the goodness with, with Revit is that in 3D, you know, sometimes it becomes difficult for the one who is constructing to visualize how the bars are in 3D. Okay, they were supposed to be constructed, but if you have the 3D model like this one, the one who is constructing will make it, will be able to follow without a problem. That's the power of Revit. This can be put on your sheets as 3D details and anyone, even if someone is not so much experienced, would know and is able to see how you're supposed to do it. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, please drop it within the comment there. This is how you create your 3D Reba. Thank you very much and see you in some upcoming lessons.